Hello guys! So today, I'll be vlogging about our glamping experience and trip to West Cork, specifically in Skimorin and Baltimore area. Long story short, we originally planned to just stay at the glamping site which is not too far from Cork, and I found this pretty secluded getaway pod in Airbnb just one mile away from the market town of Skimorin. Here's the name of our glamping site. It's really quite secluded and private, yet it's not too far from the town. As we parked our car, we saw this beautiful view of the hills and Ellen River, which is, sorry, it's not properly seen in the video. And this is the way leading up to our cute little pot. It's really bushy. If you're glamping in summer, don't forget to bring smidge spray. So here we are. Checking in was super fast and easy as it is a key code system. There's a private entrance and parking, and just outside our pot, there's seating, loungers, chimney, and outdoor dining and barbecue area. It was lovely and peaceful, and it's all the essentials for glamping. This spot actually sleeps up to four people, so as you can see, there's a double bed and there's a large pull-out sofa bed, and it also has a fully equipped bathroom and kitchenette. So here is the view again outside, and from here you can see the hills on the other side. Brought all our stuffs in and rested and relaxed for a bit. Took some snacks because we're leaving the pod too early to explore the surrounding area. So after roughly an hour, we decided to go out to see Lachine, which is only about 15 minutes drive from our glamping site. Time check, it was already 6 p.m. But thank God it's summer and we took advantage of the longer daylight hours. So here we are driving around Lachine. We actually saw lots of people swimming in the lake at this time in this area so we decided to go to the other side where it is quiet and where we can have the lake all to ourselves. Although I think we got a little lost on the way. And here we are. Wow. Did you know that this serene sea water lake is actually famous for its after dark kayaking experience because of the luminous phosphorescence? That means to say the lake comes alive at bioluminescence, so you'll have the stars below you and on a clear night, you'll see the stars above. Unfortunately, kayaking is not possible for our little family because, you know, we have a little boy, so for now, we only have this beautiful view to enjoy. Time check, it's already 7.30pm, so we went back to our pod because we are already starving and it's barbecue time! The glamping site only had a barbecue area, not the kettle charcoal, barbecue, or grill thing. So we brought our own disposable barbecue tray, which we got for only 5 euro in legal. <laughs> Be sure to check the site's amenities and their additional info on Airbnb. So now I'm playing with the boss baby while Dada is making dinner. As usual, he just woke up from his nap because he usually sleeps in the car when we are away driving. But of course, he gets his dinner first, otherwise he'll be shouting and screeching at us while we are eating. And dinner's ready! Ta -da! For our dinner, we have pilau rice and vegetable salad, which we just bought from Lidl in Skibberin Town, pork barbecue, and grilled corn in the cup. Yum! We lit the chimney at 2 because it's already evening and the breeze is starting to get cold. So yeah, it's dinner time. After dinner, we had about 2 hours to rest and put the baby to sleep while we are waiting for the dark because it's finally Tagay session. I mean, chill time with my favorite person. So it was already 11 p.m. and our little boy is asleep. We did the chimney again and put out our favorite Smirnoff eyes. <laughs> we partnered it with some Pringles and Filipino adobo chips. <laughs> and that night we had a cold air, dark night, warm fire, and bright stars. After an hour or two, we finally retired to our bed because we still have lots of things to do in the morning. Good morning, time check, it's 7 a.m. We didn't wake up early by choice. It's because of this little boy. Although he sleeps through the night with no problems, he normally would wake up so early. And of course, he's hungry. And then after feeding him, he's finally satisfied and happy, and then he will be playing. <laughs> so this is our good morning, just woke up. 
about photo sesh. We are leaving our cute little photo today, so of course we took lots of photos. This little hammock at the back of our bod is my favorite personal touch to the glamping site. So we checked out around 11 a.m. and I am so excited because we'll be exploring the little fishing port of Baltimore and we'll be doing a swell to Stay tuned for part two. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.